Hey, great to see you, Joe here. Welcome to part two of Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. Now in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the lead guitar part. And for those of you who are interested in hearing my performance of the song, there's a link down below where you can go and listen to that. Okay, so without further ado, let me zoom in and start explaining it to you. Okay, so let me start out by showing you each part broken down and then you can work on each of these parts. Don't forget the tabs are included as well if you're struggling a little bit on the notes. So I'll play each part and then explain it to you. The first part we're looking to play sounds like this. Okay, so that's what we're looking to do. So we use our middle finger, third string, second fret, and we're going to slide from two to four, like so. Then we're going to use our index finger on the third fret, second string. So we have. Then we're going to play the second string, fifth fret, and back to this third string, fourth fret. and then back to the 2nd string 3rd fret. So we should now have... Then we move on to the 3rd string 4th fret and what we're going to play here is... Okay, so they're kind of all pull-offs. So we're on the 4th fret, 3rd string, we play that note pull off to the 2nd fret and then pull off again to make an open 3rd string so we have now you may need to practice that a little bit so now we should have and then after that we just have an open 4th string and then the last little bit is just Okay, so that's the 5th string, 1st fret, play that note and slide to the 2nd fret and then play 2 open 4th strings, okay? And now you should have that whole 1st section. Now then, moving on to part 2, we have this section. Now this is probably the most difficult section because if you're just starting out, sliding like that can be a little bit sticky and a bit stiff. So my advice to you is to try and be really light when you're sliding back and forth. That should help you. Okay, so first part, we're going to bar the bottom two strings of the third fret. We're going to play it and slide up to the fifth fret. And then back down to the third fret. Then, we're going to put our index finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret and our middle finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret. We're going to do a similar thing. We're going to slide this position up 2 frets. Okay, like so. So now we have... Then we play the 2nd and 3rd strings open. Then another back on and slide up and back down and pull off and then we land there on the third string fourth fret and the fourth string fifth fret so let me play that really slowly for you now we move on to part three and we have okay so again we're on that third string second fret we're going to slide from two to four then we play the second string third fret back onto the third string fourth fret so we have Play that note there, which is the 5th fret, 2nd string. So we've got... 
and we're going to bend it and then play it and let it drop down so that's bend pluck third fret second string back up to the fifth fret second string and then finish on third string second fret so you should now have Now the next part we have Okay, so that's Okay, so that's third string fourth fret bend back onto the second string third fret so we got back up to that fifth fret second string and then we're going to bend again on that third string fourth fret and finish on the second fret third string so we have and then the next section sounds like this And this is the final little section. So we have. Okay, so two to four on the third string. Onto that second string third fret. Back onto the third string fourth fret. And then we're on that fifth fret second string. So we've got. And then what we're going to do on this 5th fret 2nd string is bend it right up and then down, so we got and then 3rd fret 2nd string 5th fret 2nd string back on that 3rd string 2nd fret and then the final note is ok, so we should now have And then we're into the G where we join with the rhythm guitar and the vocal of the first verse. So there you have it. I hope that you found that helpful. And just remember to just practice each little part separately. And then once you're comfortable with all the little parts, then maybe you can bolt them together. And if you're still a little bit unsure about some of the notes and things, don't forget that there are tabs included, so they should help you out with any grey areas you might have. And I've also included an MP3 of the intro rhythm guitar, so that you have something to practice the lead over. So I hope that this helps you, and I hope that you have some fun playing it. Just remember, enjoy the journey, and I'll see you soon with a new lesson. Thanks very much indeed for watching.